Hello, welcome to Friday Sews. My name is Christine and this is Christine Sews A Lot. Today on Friday Sews, I'm going to talk about what I've been sewing, what my upcoming sewing plans, we have a topic of discussion, and a little bit about life. So I'm going to start off with what I've sewn. I've not done a ton of sewing this week because I've just been engaged in my community and family. I've been to book club, my mother had her birthday party, my sister came for a quick visit, and I've worked some. So only a little bit of sewing happened this week, but it was a big sewing, or big to me. I finally made a pair of Hudson pants for me, and I made them out of this not so nice polyester fabric. I was not sure how the pattern would go. I was doing the high waist option. And I thought I remembered with the curve range of the pattern that I might not need to do that adjustment. And just in case things didn't go so well, I thought, let me use this fabric that I will only use for a toile or muslin because I do not like it much. It's this astronaut fabric that I bought with my grandson in mind when he was three, I believe. Very much a novelty print. I mean, I will wear it around the house some, but it's got a fair amount of polyester content to it. More than I thought at the time when I bought it. I'm not a big fan of wearing polyester, but I am a huge fan I'd say a super fan of the Hudson pants. Turned out great. And I had a video earlier when I talked in more detail about them. And I'll link that down below. So that's my only completed make of this week. I have cut out and partially assembled another Jackson pullover by Helen's Closet. This, I believe, is my third. <laughs> And I really like this sweatshirt pattern. Basically, once you cut out a Jackson pullover, it comes together lickety split. It's in a real fun fabric. I'll give you a little sneak peek here of it. And I'm looking forward to it because Sunday it's supposed to get cold here again. Our weather is like up and down. A few days ago, it was in the 80s. Today, I'm wearing my Ilford jacket inside the house because it's a little bit chilly. I do not like to turn the heat on upstairs. Now, it doesn't get super cold here, so no need for concern out there if you're thinking, oh my goodness, Christine, it's winter. You don't turn the heat on upstairs. Some of the heat rises up, and I like to sleep with cooler temperatures. So I'll put a little jacket on and order to be comfortable while I'm working in my sewing room or upstairs filming, as opposed to turning on the heat. I want to make sure that I have the best chance for a cool sleep. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's a little bit about life. So I've got the Jackson pullover that I will be finishing today. And that's all as far as sewing for this week, but I do have some fun plans. Let me show you some fabric. This was on back order with Minerva, so it didn't come with the fabric that I ordered last year. It is a French Terry exclusive to Minerva. I love this. The colors are so vibrant. A friend from work uh, put in an order for some rayon chalet in this colorway. When I was sending in an order, I placed an order for her along with mine. And it also looks gorgeous. So my plans for this, I originally bought it thinking I would just make myself a sweatshirt. But I want to see if I can squeeze out a South Bank sweater dress by Nina Lee. I think it would be gorgeous in this fabric. I don't think there are enough words for how much I love this fabric. So that is in the works. I'll probably get started on it today. 
The other thing that will be in the works is I'm gonna be popping some fabric that I purchased this morning. I picked it up from 5 8 seams. I had to bring my, excuse the rustling. There we go. I had to bring my sewing machine in for service. The buttonhole foot is not working so great. I have an automatic buttonhole foot, so I don't know if it's the foot or if it's the machine. And I was having a little trouble with it when I was machine embroidering some gifts at Christmas time, and she was just due for good cleaning and service, and hopefully we can get those things fixed up. So while I was there, of course, I had to pick up some fabric and I got two pieces of fabric, both with flamingos. My granddaughter is 19 months now and she loves flamingos. Charlie had taken her to the zoo um, up at, by where they live and she was fascinated with the flamingos and he called up the bird call on his phone and made a big deal out of it. And now she is just all about flamingos. She calls them mingos. So I got this fabric more for Charlie than for the baby because he loves that connection with her and that her favorite animal right now is the flamingo. And a lot of that is due to pop. So I am going to put these in the wash. I got a yard of this. I'm not sure what I can make with this. Maybe a little pair of shorts for the summer. I have the Robert pattern by Children's Corner, which is a cute, plain little elastic short with a front, flat front. And that might be cute. And this is definitely going to be a summer dress. Something with ruffles, maybe tears. Very girly. So the topic of discussion this week on Friday Sews is what are your three top goals for sewing for 2023? Now on Sunday, I plan on filming and hopefully posting a video where I talk about a wrap up of my Make 9 2022 and also about my goals for this year. But I can right off the cuff tell you some of my top goals for sewing for 2023 and I'd be interested in hearing yours. We can all learn and be inspired from each other. I definitely got a lot of inspiration for my goals from Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews here on YouTube and on Instagram. And she has a goal of rectifying the problem of those orphan items in her closet that don't get a lot of wear because she sewed something but doesn't have anything to go with it. Or you can have a ready to wear item of clothing that you just don't wear because you don't have anything to go with it. And I definitely need to be doing some of that. I have two skirts that I really like, but I don't get a lot of wear out of them because they're patterned and I don't have a top that works well with it. So I am going to loosely borrow from Izzy and have a goal of reducing the number of orphans in my wardrobe and making things going forward, keeping in mind what can I wear with that. Another goal for me is to sew some of the patterns that I already own yet haven't sewn yet. I do not mind repeating patterns. If I find a pattern I like, I will make it one, two, three, in the case of the Hudson pans, 15, 16 times, especially if it's something that is a real practical everyday use. My goodness, I'm on my third Jackson pullover and I've only owned that pattern for maybe five weeks now. But I have a lot of patterns that I fell in love with enough to purchase. I fell in love with them enough to print but I haven't actually sewn them. So 
I want to make an effort to go through those patterns, pull something out I have not made before, and sew it up, both in children's patterns and in patterns for me and some for Charlie. Now, he's historically had very low interest in my sewing for him. I've bought a few patterns because I wanted to make him something. I have a sweatshirt pattern I bought for him. He is very athletic and slim and trim built. Um, that's usually the words on the shirts that I buy for him. And I wanted to make a sweatshirt that fit, would fit him well, be long in the torso, but not overly big and baggy on his frame. And he has always just said, no, don't, don't use your sewing time on me. I'm fine with what I have, or I can just pick up what I need. So he's not been terribly interested until, dum, 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 dum. I was watching Adam and I was sitting in our family room, watching him on the television. That's Adam from Adam Sews. And Charlie sat down and started watching with me. And Adam pulled up one of his brushed cotton shirts. It's the uh, it's a plaid button down. I think it's a wardrobe by me pattern. I can't remember. I did make a mental note to go back and check. But anyway, Charlie said, wow, I like that shirt. Maybe you can make one for me. So maybe I will. I am definitely going to make him an Ilford jacket because he did express an interest after he saw mine that he might like one. So I did, in the Black Friday sale, buy some brown, a walnut brown bull denim from Blackbird Fabric to make Charlie and Ilford. And when I'm in the right mindset for it, then I'm going to make that for him. And it's not that it's tricky or anything, but right now I'm in a mindset for making for Christine. And maybe a few little dresses. <laughs> I do love a frilly dress. I really should get back to my Christmas dress, but I'm not feeling any pressure to sew except for what I want to sew. So anyway, that's kind of an overview of some of my top goals for 2023. I'm gonna go into more detail in my video that should be coming out on Sunday about my goals for 2023, but I'd love to hear what yours are. Do you have goals for managing your fabric stash, for what you're gonna sew, how you're gonna sew? I'd love to know what your sewing goals are. So, some exciting news for me as a life update and related to sewing, I have booked my trip to the original Sewing and Quilt Expo in Lakeland, Florida. I am so excited. I'm going to be meeting up with several of my sewing vlogger friends. Really excited. I think that will be the highlight for me. We will definitely be doing some hanging out. I'm sure we'll be filming and sharing what's going on. But I am also going to be a student. I'm going to be taking several classes. I have signed up for some serger classes, three or four fitting classes. There's some finishing classes like on collars and cuffs. I know I've taken that class or signed up for it. I have plans for the week to be taking classes, hanging out with friends, and it is going to be a good time. I know it is. So, so excited about it. And Charlie is also excited for me. He knows how much I love my sewing friends and just so excited. How many times can I say I'm so excited? I don't know, I am. So that will be coming up in March. I think I might need to make myself something special to wear, something to swan around the expo in. I will definitely, whatever I plan on making, I'm gonna wear comfortable shoes because I'm gonna be on my feet a lot. 
If you're going to the expo in Lakeland, Florida, please say hello. I'd love to meet you and say hello. If you're interested in hearing more details about how my high waist heads and pants turned out with a couple of tips, then check out my video here. Until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and you find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye.